Meet Ed Tuig. If you live in Nova Scotia's King's Hans riding, he'd like your vote. A Tory MLA decades ago, he's running as an independent. I have apologized many times for what I didn't do when I was elected. What I couldn't do, what there was no opportunity to do. Another independent, Cliff Williams, is in his sixth campaign. And there's Megan Brown Hodges. I'm running for the Rhinoceros Party of Canada. Like the vast majority of alternative candidates across Canada, none will win this riding. Fifteen parties dance on the edge of the electoral system. Some familiar, the communist, Christian heritage, and marijuana parties. But have you heard of the Democratic Advancement Party? How about the Bridge Party? Or Pirate Party? They struggle for funds, media coverage, and most of all, votes. Still, they push on, driven, often by a determined few, committed to a particular policy or ideology, from the ridiculous... I promise that we are gonna nationalize every Tim Hortons. ...to the subversive in Moncton, New Brunswick, a campaign urging support for, well, nobody. For political scientist Mario Levesque, it indicates a general dissatisfaction among the electorate. And I think it's nice to have it finally here in New Brunswick to be able to, A, encourage people to go out to vote, but to let them know that they do have another option out there. Despite the silliness of her party's platform, Megan Brown Hodges is serious about increasing voter participation. There's too many people in Canada that are totally disenfranchised by the election and by politics. The number of votes the so-called fringe parties tend to garner may be insignificant, but the role they play in a healthy democracy is, of course, anything but. Todd Battis, CTV News, Halifax.